Kim, what is our fourth main topic today? Our fourth main topic is the most important topic of my life because it means that I bested you. So this comes from Movie Fanatic. Hi, John, Kim, and Ray. Spider-Man No Way Home made $253 million opening weekend. By that the way, that's incorrect, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Let me be great. <laughs> Let me have this. <laughs> that nearly triples the pandemic era record. This film has already crossed half a billion worldwide. This is clearly the movie that's got everyone back to the theaters. And I believe this is the third highest opening in history. What do you think of this news? And do you think that No Way Home can cross a billion? Thanks for everything you do. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in. And I, and I do have to correct Movie Fanatic. It did not indeed make $253 million. That was the estimate. Now, you got to understand, on Sundays, the box office report comes out. But the box office report that comes out on Sundays are the estimates. Now, they're normally, like, ridiculously close. Like, most of the time, bang on the money. Mm -hmm. But Sunday is, nonetheless, when the estimates come in. The What they call the actuals, the box office actuals for this weekend, came in this morning. And now we know the real number. And it was not too, I'm sorry to break it to you, Kim, but it was not $253 million. Lies. The actuals are actually more. It's $260 million wow. is what it actually came in at. Now, for those of you who may not know, so you won by a bigger margin than even you thought you did. So here's the thing. For those of you who didn't I know. I demand a reward. I demand it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll call it even for your Miles Morales prediction. Break and we'll, 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 we'll call it even for Miles Morales. Wow. No, 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 So here's the thing. So uh, Kim and I, we made a wager. We set the over-under number at 290, 200, what did we say? 249.5. 249.5 is what we set the over-under at. I took the under in 249.5. Kim took the over. Say it again, Kim. What? Kim took the over. Thank you. Thank you. And Kim won. She did. This thing became. She's great. Let's put this in context. That change from 253 million to 260 is significant. Here's why. Because it made Spider-Man No Way Home not the third biggest opening weekend in cinematic history. It has made it the second biggest weekend in cinema opening weekend in cinematic history. Let's see if I can get zoomed in on this a bit more. That is incredible. Avengers Endgame, which I told everybody would not come anywhere close. And I think most people realize Spider-Man No Way Home was not going to come anywhere close to Avengers Endgame. Missed it by about $100 million. But still, Avengers Endgame, 357. Spider-Man No Way Home, in a pandemic, with all the crap going on in the world, has come in second place as the second biggest opening weekend in history, ahead of Avengers Infinity War, Star Wars Episode Seven, and Star Wars Episode Eight. It should be pointed out that all five of the top five opening weekend box office records belong to either an Avengers movie or to a Star Wars movie. They're all Disney, by the way. And the top ten, nine of the top ten are now all Disney films. The the only film in the top 10 that is not a Disney film is Jurassic World. Mm. So number one, Avengers Endgame. Number two, Spider-Man No Way Home. Number three, Avengers Infinity War. Number four, Star Wars Episode Seven. Number five, Star Wars Episode Eight. Number six, Jurassic World. Number seven, The Avengers. Number eight, Black Panther. Number nine, The Lion King. And number 10, The Age of Ultron. And in the top 15, 10 of the top 15 are all Disney films. But in the top (laughs) 10 of all time, nine of them are Disney films. Oh, boy. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> so that's it's a good day to be a mouse <laughs> but spider-man no way home um look we all knew it was going to destroy the box office the, the the existing pandemic era box office record we all knew it was minimum probably going to double it um and it was originally projected to make 140 to 180 <laughs> then the projections came out that it could be 180 to 250 and then the projections went down sony came out and said they were projecting like 135 to 150 variety came out and they pegged it at 240 the day before it came out and then it came out 260 million dollars we've talked a little bit um the last couple of days about the significance of of um, what this means, 
not just to Spider-Man, not just to Sony, not just to Marvel, but what it means for movie going in general. And actually, there's a very interesting quote here that comes to us from uh, the chairman of Sony Pictures. This comes to us from Righty Rights. This weekend, this weekend's historic Spider-Man No Way Home results from all over the world and in the face of many challenges reaffirm the unmatched cultural impact that exclusive theatrical films can have when they are made and marketed with vision and resolve, says Tom Rothman, Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group chairman and CEO. It reaffirms in the face of challenges, it reaffirms the unmatched cultural impact and that an exclusive theatrical film can have when they are made and marketed with vision and with resolves. And of course, Sony marketed it, Marvel made it, and the results are undisputed. It is remarkable. And being in the movie theaters this week, now I've been to the movie theaters a lot in the last number of months in the pandemic, right? A lot. But I have not been back to the movie theaters and seen the entire theaters packed. The, the concession signs, concession lines lined up with hundreds of people buzzing it with excitement, both going into a movie and then later coming out of the movies. And you saw people coming out and standing around in the foyer and the outside of the theaters, buzzing and talking with each other about what's going on. And you felt that energy enthusiasm across the country and apparently across the world. And this is, you know, we've had some things like Shang-Chi showed, this is what, movie, even in a pandemic, look what can happen. You take this little unknown character that nobody's ever heard or cares about, and look what can happen. Free Guy had amazing results at the box office. Spider-Man, when you make great movies and you market them well and you give them full theatrical releases, they will make you tons of money now, and then they will make you more tons of money later when you do put them on streaming. Streaming. Sony understands it's not an either war. Sony understands you get to do both. Sony has a hard commitment to only releasing their films theatrically. And they have a hard commitment to that. And they, because they said at CinemaCon, uh, Sony's guys got up at CinemaCon and say, look, we believe there's money to be made in streaming. But we also believe there's a ton of money to be made in theaters. And we don't believe we have to pick between the two. We think we get to do both. We'll put it out in theaters, have all the success in the theaters, and then we'll put it on streaming and have more success there too. And Spider-Man is kind of proving that point. It makes one wonder. One cannot help but ponder a little bit. What could have Spider-Man done had it, A, not been for a pandemic? Yes. And, well, I'll hold off on B. I don't want to say B. But what would have happened if it wasn't in a pandemic? I still, it wouldn't have hit Endgame. I mean, it wouldn't have made another $100 million I think domestically. I know what B is. I was just yeah, going to yeah, ask yeah, yeah. you that. Yeah, well, I'll, we'll, yeah. later. No, I was, I was just going to ask you, what do you think? Ha Probably another Not 50. only are we in a pandemic, but there's a new variant going around. It's not yeah. like we're at the tail end. And remember last year, it's like, no, there's new stuff. Put your mask back on. And look what it did. If this was a normal time in history, you really don't think it would have knocked another and came off million? the 357 no. million? No, I don't think it would have made another 100 million, but I believe it would have made more. I believe it would have made a lot more. But then, but you did lose, so I don't know <laughs> how long I could like <laughs> take no, I mean, that. But it's true. It's like how how significant is this? Now, the unfortunate thing for Spider-Man is that its legs might get chopped out from underneath it. Because there are some whispers going around that New York may shut down their movie mm. theaters again. Uh, there are more with the Omicron thing going around. There are talking about more restrictions going on. I mean, this just could impact spider -Man. I mean, all our friends in, what was it, Norway? We had so many oh, friends yeah, all, that the, the wrote in and said we down. can't see it till January 14th. A number of provinces in Canada have reduce their theater capacity to 50%. They may actually be shutting them down oh, now pretty soon. Wow. I mean, it's uh, it's it's the thing that's going around. So can that I, might affect it. But you know what? We'll worry about that later. Okay. Can what, I say something yeah, real quick? Yeah, please. Um, it has to do with uh, what you were talking about, about the people, all the people there that you witnessed there, that yeah. I witnessed there. There's no, say what you want about superhero movies. Like, I know some people trash them. We've heard it. Um, there's no other genre that brings in the demographic of all ages and all races yeah. into a theater other than like superhero movies. So, you know, I'm just saying like, I, I'm happy to be a, a fan of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
No, and, and it's great. Like you, you walk into these movies and you'll look around and you'll see, you know, I, I was doing a, um, a companion video the other day and I made this point. I said, you know, sports and movies have this unifying power that nobody does. Like I was watching a little bit of the Pittsburgh Steelers game the other day, right? They were playing in Pittsburgh and you look at this stadium and people going crazy. And you know, in that stadium are people from every spectrum of the socioeconomical pattern. You have Republicans and Democrats. Yeah. You have, you know, every type of person you can imagine. And they're all jumping up and down together and yep. cheering together yep. and high-fiving each other. Yep. What else can get that to happen? Yeah. The movies can. Because yeah. you go to movies and you go into movie theaters across the world and you got people from every spectrum of the socio uh, socioeconomic spectrum is out there. You got people from every spectrum of the political wavelength. You got people from every walk of life, every nationality, every ethnicity, whatever. It, what are they all doing this week? They're all watching Spider-Man. And even their kids of kids and kids and kids. Yeah, and kids. yeah. You know what I mean? Young, it, old. Yeah. It brings everyone together and all of, the, all of us enjoy like you know the movie or the movies so it's like i that's why i go back to like the people trashing these movies i mean why would you do that it's it's such a it's such a beautiful thing when you get a whole bunch of people together to enjoy something you know what i mean yeah no a absolutely and yeah it's i had this great moment where i just looked over at the stranger when something happened in the movie i don't know this guy didn't come with him and we just looked at each other like dude <laughs> dude dude i don't know this person i don't know where they are in the political spectrum i don't know where they are in their views about this and that but you know what that was a shared experience that was a shared energy and i can't wait for all of our little ones 10 years from now this is now a new memory they have this is their the first time I saw Spider-Man. This is their Star Wars moment, the first time I ever saw it. This is such a huge moment for so many kids that this is their first introduction into Spider-Man. And that's the most important thing to take from this. Yes, the numbers are great and money is great, blah, blah, blah. But what the money numbers say is that a lot of people who are different experienced this together. Yeah. And that's what we have to hold on to, especially as we might be going into another tough season is you know what if we can't agree on this or that can we all just agree that spider-man was just mad dope <laughs> yes we can we can yeah it, it, i mean it was it was great it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of legs it has all other things considered but i mean 260 million dollars i get guys i want to don't overlook the significance of this moment right now at this period of time that's going on a movie came out that became the second biggest opening in the history of cinema don't just think that's another interesting, like a little factoid. That is a major, major thing. And again, I think it shows the hunger in a lot of people to get back to these big event films and seeing them in theaters and blah, blah. I, I just think it speaks to that. And again, the fun we had in theater watching this movie. Oh, so much fun. Laughing together, gasping together, crying, cheering together. Crying. Now, was Endgame the most recent of them that hit the top 10 before the Spider-Man? Uh, 2019. Was, I saw 2019. Yes. Okay. Or oh, in the top ten. Yeah. Yes. It, was that like I, the I most recent? I think Avengers Endgame is the most recent one to get in there. Let me just double look at this. So, yeah, Jurassic World came before it. Avengers came before it. Black Panther came before it. Lion King. I believe Lion King came before Endgame. I think it did. Um, Avengers: of Age of Ultron obviously did as well. So yeah, I think Endgame might be the most recent one. Okay. Could be. Uh, anyway, amazing numbers. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? astronomical phenomena at the box the second highest grossing weekend in the history of cinema so during a pandemic era what do you guys think about that where do you think it can go all things being considered it might have its legs chopped off anyway whatever you guys are thinking jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts